we live in the country, so uh, we don't have those uh, nice kinds of things that people in the city do, like uh, water that just turns on the tap and it's already nicely pressurized. We got to do that in our own houses. So this is a pressure tank. So there's a bladder inside of this tank that's filled with air, and that air exerts a pressure onto the water, which drives it throughout the plumbing in the house. Hey, pressure is something that's very important. Gases, which are really just solutions of different molecules in the air, they're very important to us in many different ways, from the air bladder here to the tires that we drive on and our bikes and our cars. Hey, let's talk about pressure and gases. Gas comes from the Greek word chaos, and that's appropriate because gases are the most chaotic, disorganized, randomized type of matter that we actually have. Now, in order to understand gases, we need to know something about how we measure them. Now, because they're compressible, we actually can exert pressure on gases and they respond by actually changing their pressure. And so gases have pressures that we can measure. Lots of different ways of doing that. Pounds per square inch was something that we used for a lot of years uh, before metric took over. And so now here are some really common pressure units that you need to know about. Uh, atmospheres, tors, and kilopascals. Kilopascals mostly used all over the world. Atmospheres a lot in American chemistry and tors was a traditional one that we used for gases. Gases are compressible. Uh, they occupy their container volume fully because they undergo diffusion. Those are properties of gases. Now, in terms of the numbers here, the tor was the original one that was given by Torricelli, he was Italiano, and Torricelli came up with the number 760 tor, 760 tor, which actually is 760 millimeters of mercury, or how much mercury, mercury rises at sea level in a glass tube that's been completely evacuated with, from air molecules. Mercury will rise up in that column 760 millimeters. Now we call it Tor, in honor of Torricelli. What is that? Well, it's a, it's a very big number. Why don't we just call it one atmosphere? And that's exactly the most convenient way of describing pressure in atmospheres. Um, but you won't see that necessarily if you're working in Canada, especially here. So, what is the equivalence between one atmosphere and 760 tor in terms of kPa or kilopascals, which is force per unit area, newtons per meter. That's really what kilopascal is all about and what really pressure is. It's a force per unit area. Well, the number is 101.325. 101.325. Sorry about that, but that's what it is. And that's the one we use in the majority of the calculations coming up.